This girl has no, like zero flaws. She's gorgeous. Right, let's blend it. Ah, they're not gonna match. I can already tell. I love her. She's a genius. Hey guys, welcome back. If you haven't already seen or been on TikTok recently and don't know who Leah Halted is, today we're gonna go over that. Um, she has literally, I think, first of all, absolutely perfect. Beautiful girl right here. Um, her name's Leah Halton. She started blowing up on TikTok and I think recently she's like, I think she's been like the most liked, has the most liked video on TikTok or something or most viewed. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. It's at like 49 million likes right now, which is insane because she's absolutely <laughs> beautiful and perfect and I love her. If I could trade anything to look like her, I would because I think she's perfect and beautiful. Guys, uh, I'm just very happy uh, that she's getting the recognition she deserves because I've always thought that, not that she didn't have followers, but like she was underrated. I, I don't know. I just love her. She has the cutest personality, the funniest personality, and she's beautiful. Like. Love her. I'm so happy for her. Stop making this a love letter. I want to do her makeup routine because she has posted a tutorial on her TikTok on how to do her makeup routine and also on her YouTube channel. I already have my laptop ready with the tutorial and I've already watched it so I feel good about it. I'm going to try to do her routine. I have like most of the products. Place a little order online and purchase some of the products as well because i don't i just want to really do this full out and try to use everything obviously i know i'm not going to turn out looking like her she's absolutely stunning but you know we'll see what this makeup looks like on a normal person okay i'm a little bit chaotic right now because i have like all my stuff on the floor <laughs> but let's get started i'm gonna play the video um on my laptop and just follow everything she actually has like absolutely zero dark circles, so I'm gonna start by just covering mine. Um, sorry. I just wanna make sure like I start off with perfect skin like her. <laughs> oh, my freaking makeup mirror, guys. Cracked. Um, this is my second one, I think. Cause the first one I left when I was traveling in Canada. Okay, I'm like getting distracted. First, I don't even have a primer. I mean, I do, but I'm like it's so late right now when I'm filming this that I don't need this to stick on my face. So I'm just gonna go no primer and go right into the next thing, which is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I had this for a while already, but she had the same shade as me, which was nice because that like makes this easier. So she had 4.5 medium. That's the one I have. She's had this like her quick makeup. So I'm gonna blend it. I love this like flawless filter for the summer. It's like super pretty and glowy. It's the end of a long day for me, so I'm kind of tired. My eyes are a little bit red, a little bit drained. That's okay. It seems like she has a lot more of like an angled brow in the front. And then it curves out a little bit darker than I'm used to, but I think... She's got better brows. We gotta, we gotta do right. Okay. I don't know. I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get because I have a different brow shape than her. So. I'm just gonna start that off. Ow! There's like an eyelash in my eye. Next step, she uses concealer. And she uses this one, Maybelline Age Rewind. Whatever, corrector. Here, I cannot. This girl has no, like, zero flaws. She's gorgeous. All right. Here. All right. Let's blend it. I have the teeny tiny version of the brush she's using, so I'm just going to use that and blend. Gosh. I'm, like, trying to have my hair cute in the front, but it's driving me crazy. Oh, she also says to not really blend it in the whole way. Uh, it saves time, easier to blend it at the end. That's what it seems like. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I have like a wider tip of my nose than her and a skinnier like bridge, I think. So that's gonna look different. I'm also, I'm just gonna have to have like dark circles. Like I don't, unfortunately. 
Next, she does bra. I don't, I think I blended this a lot less than she did. Okay. She uses the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. So here it is. I got this and I actually really like it. It's really good. I'm going to use this Patrick Ta brush. She's using, I'm not sure what brand that is. It might be like Item Beauty. It's purple, but I'm just going to use this one. Oh wait, let me see where she puts it. Like that like the queen <laughs> of having a double chin and all that that's just me but that's okay i'm kind of just like i'm like whatever just rock the double chin okay now and then she said she i don't think she did her forehead but i'm gonna do a little bit of my forehead because i've got a like larger forehead and then she puts the remainder on her lids I don't know if my nose is cute enough to be doing this. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my eyelids. Okay. I feel like on the camera it doesn't look as dramatic, so then in person I try to do more. And then it looks really crazy in person. For blush, she uses the Patrick Ta She's a Doll. I have a She's Blushing and I love it, so I'm sure I'll love this. It's very, like, super pink, kind of scary. But I'm gonna use the cream and the rare beauty blush brush and she i mean she uses quite a lot so that's what i'm gonna try to do so i'm gonna do that it's kind of important to overplay the lid okay a little bit on the lids and a little bit on the nose okay now she goes back in she uses her concealer brush but mine is really too tiny so i'm just gonna use this big brush and she taps in like all the uneven edging i'm trusting the process Ooh, this is really cute okay she's a, she's a pro the only thing is obviously on me i just have dark under eyes and dark circles and ugh, i don't know that's just me though gosh it's cute i love it well now i feel like i blended it too much and you guys you guys don't even see I feel like I need to do more blush. Now she uses the Givenchy Voila Rose uh, Prism Libre <laughs> powder, which uh, I think is a little bit pink for me, like my skin tone, but I got the small one so we could try it. I mean, I've, I've used this before. It's really brightening. All in her makeup sponge, I mean makeup puff things. Like my under eye concealer will crease in one second. Okay, side of the nose to my other side of my eye and then she's not baking she's just tapping it in i think i'm baking by accident so oops so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to keep tapping it in so i can stop the baking oh my gosh it's coming up like a lot more dramatic on me than i think it is on her then she said she just takes the remaining powder on a big fluffy brush and puts that on the rest of her face. Like I need more color now that I made myself really pale. I'm just like, going back and setting everything with a powder version. So she uses like a Scott Barnes contour palette and I don't have that and I, I didn't feel the need to buy an entire palette and want to be, you know, too wasteful. So I got, I'm just gonna use the bronzer I have. This is Charlotte Tilbury in shade three, it's a little tan. And She's really bronzing, so I'm gonna do that. I'm scared, this is a very pigmented bronzer. At this point, I'm gonna put on some lip plumper. Okay. I'm glad there's like violent racing going on outside. That marinade on me, and then use her blush. So, she uses two blushes from Kylie. The We Are Going Shopping, it's like a really nice um, corally, peachy color, orangey. And then she uses Winter Kiss, which is like a true baby pink, but I'm going to use Pink Power, which I actually don't know the description of this color, but I don't want to, I don't want to buy, I feel like they're very similar. So I'm going to start with We're Going Shopping, big brush to apply all these, which is making me want to just use this one. So I think I might do that. I'm ner I like, I never apply heavy blush. So this is like. A little bit nerve-wracking for me. I love her. She's a genius. Okay, now I'm going to use Pink Power. She's using Winter Kiss. It's fine. Ah! I have the video on two times speed, so I can't keep up. All right. 
time for pink power. I forgot to put it on my... Ah! Oh my gosh, I hate opening these blushes. That's, I actually, when I'm running late, I just avoid this blush because it's so freaking hard to open. Like, for real. Okay, there we go. Pink power. Okay. Now she does freckles. Um, she uses, like, a little brush and brown eyeshadow. I don't even... I don't even think I own brown eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use a freckle pin. I got this on Amazon. I think it's way better than freck. It looks natural. And she does a lot of freckles, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, I don't think those look too natural on me. Um, but it's not bad. It's kind of cute. Okay. Now she uses a highlighter that is no longer sold. I did look online for it because it's really beautiful, but. Um, it's like a pink, it looks rose gold to me, so I'm just gonna mix like these three colors from the Dior palette. Stop recording. Sorry. Almost like her whole cheek is shining, which I think is beautiful. And I'm also just gonna bring it into here as well. Right, white highlighter. So let me go get one. I'm just gonna use this Cezanne Pearl Glow highlighter because I don't have the Rare Beauty one. And this little tiny brush that literally broke on me. It's okay. She does her upper lip. I feel like she did it on her brow. She didn't show, but it looks really bright up there. So I'm just going to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the most stressful part is eyeliner. I never even bother with eyeliner because I have... I just feel like it doesn't suit my eye shape too much, but... I'm gonna try it. Um, this is she uses the like a brown liner, so I I got the same one. It's the Kat Von D and Mad Mad Max Brown. I'm really scared. This is the makeup so far. Enjoy it before I I screw it up with my lack of makeup skills. Okay. Ah, they're not gonna match. I can already tell. Also, I have a different eye shape than her, so. Okay, I it was good, and then I just decided to try to make them... Ah! Oh my god! I screwed it up. I, they were literally fine, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to try to make them a little bit longer. And then that is where I went wrong. That's where I went wrong. I don't even know if I can fix this. I don't even know. Okay, we're going to have to pretend that the makeup in the is fine without the liner. Now she's using mascara. Bye. Okay, this is making my eyes look downturned. You see what I'm saying? I have a weird eye shape. I don't know. Um, that's why I just avoid liner. But it's fine. I'm going to use my eyelash curler and the mascara she used, which is the... Oh, is this like a really fancy mascara? It's the Hourglass Lash Extensions Mascara. It's a tubing mascara, so it's going to like come off easily. And um, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I, my lash curler is like... She's broken. It's okay. We'll just try. Oh my god. This is what happens. I need to get a new lash um, pad thing. The lash curler needs a replacement pad, so it's like not, not cooperating with me, but I'm gonna just try the mascara anyways. And if it's bad, it's bad. She does her lashes brushing them outwards uh, for like that more cat eye look. The brush I love. I love that brush. Okay. okay, I gave myself spider lashes by accident. This mascara really builds up if you just keep blinking, which I just did. I just did that by accident. But maybe if I just keep doing mascara, the lashes will distract from how bad the eyeliner job was. Okay, I don't know what's going on. My lashes are not doing the same thing as hers, but we're going to move on. She uses the Kylie lip liner and Kylie and then Pillow Talk in the middle. Obviously, I'm not blessed with those beautiful lips, but I'm going to try to overline. Obviously, at a certain point of overlining, it doesn't look natural anymore. So I'm going to leave that and then fill in the middle. Just me, or does that make my teeth look yellow? Maybe not. Okay, that doesn't look realistic. I think I might have overlined them a little bit too much. I think putting a little bit of bronzer, like... right there to create a shadow maybe this makeup was looking better like 20 minutes ago the sun is now going down and every time i'm filming and the sun goes down i look really blue and like pale so 
yeah now i look pale um i'm not happy about it i don't like it this is the finished look um obviously she is like perfect and stunning and i wish i looked like her um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed i think i really screwed it up with the eyeliner like for real but i do really love her blush technique and her blending technique so i will definitely try this another day yeah that's everything um i am gonna take some selfies now because of this and yeah thank you guys so much for being here and watching and seeing me frustrated but i will see you all in my next video hope you have a lovely day bye guys